Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're well, inshallah, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a few tips on how to stay connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you're on your period. We all know how it feels when you are not able to pray salah, so hopefully these are helpful, inshallah. So the first thing I would suggest doing is meditate. So when you think about it, Salah is a form of meditation. So it only makes sense to try to find other ways to meditate, to reflect upon what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do and in ways we can try to improve every day as Muslims. So you can, for example, do um, morning adkar, you can do dhikr, you can listen to the Quran. I personally like to listen to al-Baqarah. You can also so um, journal that will allow you to introspect and reflect upon those ways that you can improve every day and I find that a great way to strengthen your relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another spiritual habit you can implement in your daily life but that will be a great way to use your time wisely during your period is simply to keep learning to Earn new knowledge. Allah absolutely loves it when we make that conscious effort to deepen our knowledge about our deen, when we never assume we know enough, when we want to get to know him personally. And one way you can do that, for example, is by exploring and reflecting upon the meaning of his 99 names, trying to memorize them. But I want to say that there are many other ways that learning and working can be acts of ibadah. A lot of people are actually unaware of this, but whenever you start a new project, whether it be a business project, a school project, a work project, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to see your intentions and loves to reward you for them. So, for example, He wants to see you determined. He wants to see that you're not going to be lazy, that you want to succeed, that you're going to give it your best. And I found that your period can be a good time to improve your productivity and refocus on those matters. But obviously, when you're on your period, you naturally feel more tired. And that is because of everything that is going on in your body, through your hormones, which are going to impact you mentally and physically. And so it only makes sense to take that time to unwind, to pamper yourself, to take care of yourself. I believe that as women, we tend to complain a lot about our period and can't help but think that it is already so hard being a woman in this dunya and then we're going through this every month. But I like to take my period as a blessing and like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing me to have it and to have this special week every month to transform my time and find ways to reconnect with him and it's funny because I actually have endometriosis which makes my period pretty painful but every time I feel that pain I tell myself that it is a way for me to expiate my sins and there's so much to be grateful for and I love being a woman so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it please let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you in the next one inshallah